Now we're going to take it over to Southampton versus Pocosa in this game on Friday. And very, very big game here. A lot on the line here. You're talking about Pocosa and the defending champs. Yeah, number four seeded Islanders taking on the number five seeded Indians. Division three quarterfinals, and this one could be a defensive struggle. Two pretty good defenses going at it here. Pocosa starts it off on offense with their quarterback, Chase Pinder. Gets out of bounds for a good gain, rolls to the left again. Going to dodge some pressure, but not for long. He's brought down by that Southampton stingy defense. Pinder looking to throw. He's going to try to buy some time before he does. Over the middle, incomplete. As you see, double coverage right there by Southampton. Their offense now going to work here on their first series. Yeah, all year long, they've stuck with the running game. They had a great uh, production on the ground today from their running back. He had 123 plus guards on the ground. You're going to see him go around the left side here. He's going to find a, a hole around that uh, Pocosan Islander D. However, nowhere to go. And on the next carry for him, right up the middle, just Eating up yards here, Matt. You see they stick to that run game, but coming back will be the Islanders. They're looking downfield, trying to find a hole in the Indians' defense, but another great play here by Southampton. And then there's the fake punt by Pocosin. Fans on their feet cheering. Oh, I didn't like that one. Pocosin now with the drive here, trying to strike first and get on the board. Pinder on the move, rolling to the right. He's going to avoid a guy. Nice little uh, shake and fake there. And he gets the first down, but they don't score here. They end up having to give the ball back to Southampton. The Southampton running game is strong. They're better than a four-loss team. They came in 6-4 and four on the year, but pretty strong, powerful running game for them. Yeah, you see Southampton sticking to what got them to the playoffs, and it's the running game. Another pitch to the outside for the back. However, you see the Pocosin defense doing a great job of identifying the ball carrier. And now you see a bit of trickery in here from Pocosin going to the halfback pass. The ball's tipped around, and it's intercepted. Great job by the uh, Indians defense, able to... Uh, not be fooled on the trick play, and they go right back to the run game here again, Matt. Yeah, unfortunately for Pocosin, that halfback pass by Dylan Hill picked off, so unable to get a big play there, and now Southampton's going to do what they want to do, be methodical here as they go to the fourth quarter, scoreless, trying to spring the upset, and they're threatening in the red zone, red zone after this big run here. Pocosin's defense going to have to buckle down yet again, and they do it here. Big tackles by that Pocosin defense. Yeah, you saw the first guy able to wrap up the ankle, second Islander able to come and make the tackle. However, the Indians sticking to the ground game here. Another run and continually trying to set up for this field goal. The kick is up, but it is no good. So the first scoring opportunity for the Indians will result in nothing. Pocosin will take it the other way, and a big run up the middle here for enemy. Yeah, and give credit to that Pocosin defense again, Matt, as you see. Reggie Thornburg and coming with big hits, forcing that field goal try. And now Pocosin's got a little life here as Emini gets it going. Pinder running well, too. Nice trio of rushers there with Hill, Emini, and Pinder. Pocosin is driving. They feel like they've got this one if they just get one big play down the middle with the passing game. And they do. It's complete into the red zone there. As you see, Pinder just accurate on the throw over the middle there. And now you give it to the guy who's your workhorse. William Emine diving into the end zone. Pocosin is on the board with the leave touchdown for the Islanders, seven to nothing with under five minutes to go. Yeah, a great job by Pocosin. Both teams really defense has played well all game long. Unfortunately, though, Southampton just coming up short here. It's the final seven to zero. If you like defensive football, you love this one. Pocosin with the win. Emine 77 yards rushing. Also Saquon Mason with 146 yards on the ground on 23 attempts. Southampton with 264 yards rushing in the loss. Other Bay Rivers uh, teams in action, Matt. It was Warhill 21 to 15 over Jamestown. Devontae Denton with three touchdown catches. Lafayette a 57 to 21 win over Parkview with Will Capers' three touchdown runs. And you see the matchups there, Matt. York undefeated 10 and 0 taking on Pocosin. 8-3 in the semifinals. Also, you got Lafayette at 9-2 and two, taking on undefeated James Monroe. That's right. York coming in this one off the bye. And we continue on Division 4. Chancellor taking on Graham. And then we continue on Warhill. We'll be going on taking on Cortland. Cortland 7-3. Graffin, you see the top seed 7-3. A better team than their three losses indicate. 